You're looking at the new Six Nations Splash Pad, which opened August 19, 2016. Chief Hill provides her comments on the latest addition to the Parks and Recreation Grounds. It's a good day for the kids as the kids are enjoying it. Uh, even though it's just uh, opening towards the end of the summer, the kids can enjoy it for the rest of this summer and for many summers to come. It's a great addition to our park here, our Parks and Recreation area, and I encourage all the kids to look after it because this splash pad belongs to you. A Facebook survey gave Six Nations two designs to choose from. Splash pad designer Janet Elliott explains the winning design concept. Some of our goals that we were trying to achieve here was to make sure that we included something for all ages and all abilities. We made sure that we had stuff for the toddler group like small ground sprays, but we also had a dynamic feature, the twist and spill for the older kids. It was a great project to be a part of. The team was great to work with, but the most rewarding part is watching the kids in the background have such a great time. Thanks for including us on this project. Councillor Carl Hill is one of the Splash Pad's main advocates as he comments on the grand opening. Actually, it's been nine years in the making to uh, get to where we are today. To get together to do the grand opening, as you can see, uh, look at the turnout. Uh, this, this Splash Pad will be definitely be used uh, for the summer and summers to come. The splash pad would not have been possible without the generous donation of the Six Nations Community Trust.